I'm looking forward to opening a conversation at the Alumni College in June, along with many of my colleagues and friends. Uh, the conversation I want to have with people will be about Bob Dylan, uh, a genius. We're very lucky to live at the same time as Bob Dylan. Uh, and for the moment, I like it that he and I are in the same decade. We're both in our 70s. And I wish him a very long life because of the way in which he changes all our lives as an artist of genius. There's an accusation against him, or rather against the songs, really, uh, that they're often misogynistic. So I'll be looking at a particular song, listening to a particular song, just like a woman, and asking whether is it just like a man to speak like that, or rather to sing like that about women. Uh, sing, because a poem isn't the same as a song, Dylan has written his poems, but the songs are what we value him for, and there's a, there are crucial differences between songs and poems, of which the most important is that the medium of a poem can be words alone, the medium of a song is triple. It's a voice, it's a melody, and it's words. And Dylan has over the years said different things about the estimation that he has for these different parts of it. Sometimes he'll speak as if it's the music uh, that's really it. Sometimes he'll speak as if it's the words that are really it. And mostly he'll speak as if it's the whole thing that is really it. So it doesn't make sense to ask which is more important any more than in a compound like water. Oxygen is just as important in water as hydrogen, although there's only half as much of it. So one of the things to do is to play songs, to listen to them as having a different cadence, different rhymings, different ways in which the voice can do things that the printed page simply can't do. And that's why it's perfect for a conversation. We'll listen to things, we'll talk about things. The medium for discussing it will, of course, be our own words. And that makes sense, then, if we attend primarily to words. Though musicologists will be very welcome, and I hope there'll be people in the audience who know more about music than I do. One day, Bob Dylan, who is a genius, may meet a genius of a critic who will do justice to the three independent things which in his great art are interdependent. He's blowing in the wind, the answer is blowing in the